Many have already uploaded videos about this obviously, but what I want to say about it is, first, that I don't believe Donald really has COVID. Some people are saying this is only a tactic for whatever political reason. Before I heard that Donald has been admitted to a military hospital upon experiencing symptoms only a few hours ago, I thought to myself that Donald could just debate Joe from quarantine. The second debate is in four or five days, which is plenty of time for the virus to become severe. I don't know how often Donald would get tested, so I can't really give my speculation on that. I'm not a fake news cultist, although I still don't trust any media. They are all obviously guilty of biases and misinformation, obviously. However, I'm sure they do present some legitimate information. Anyway, with that said, I don't wish sickness onto anybody, mainly because there are always people who are just as bad, and even far worse than any famous charlatan. People often want Pat Robertson to fuck off, but there will always be a replacement. My position on anybody who is guilty of catering to mystics or superstitious people who gets sick or dies, that I simply won't miss the motherfucker. This was my attitude toward Fred Phelps. Again, there is always somebody ready to take their place. As for Donald, I don't hate anybody because I know people who act against others are just mentally unstable, usually sociopathic. To hate or even be angry with such people is illogical because these people are allowed to be among society and they naturally behave maliciously toward others, while many of them are aggressive and very ambitious. Donald Trump has supporters. These are people who either love Donald just because he is who he is, or they have an agenda against certain people. As many have pointed out that many people vote against their own interests because they're so heavily bigoted or they want this or that economic policy carried out. Conservatism is about competition, and these people want everybody in the game. And conservatives believe that if people fall behind, they don't deserve it and should not have it, regardless of what their problem is and who or what caused the, that problem. Conservatism is about the dollar, not people. Or the environment for that matter. This is why I don't hate Donald or even a psychotic cultist who support him and have an external narcissism toward Donald, just as Christians do toward God. The homeless and perverse are the Republicans' scapegoat, while Adam and Eve are the Christians' scapegoat. Going back in time to when Bernie first started running for the 16 election, his supporters all should have been questioning Bernie's opposers asking them to define or explain their understanding of socialism, how they are interpreting Bernie's proposals as replacing the entire economy, how the concept of being tax-based means they are being given away for free. Bernie's supporters should have also questioned people why they are opposed to his socialist proposals if they won't personally benefit, and why their attitude isn't to want it for other people. In other words, why they are selfish on the matter, instead of wanting others to have it, despite them not getting it. Even if they can't get a continued education, Bernie's proposals would certainly have improved the economy, and therefore also society. If Bernie's supporters knew to do this back then, instead of arguing and getting upset, which the conservatives used against them because these conservatives are mentally ill, Donald might have lost and COVID might have been stopped quickly, and those hundreds of thousands of Americans' lives spared. Now America is in national protest during a fucking pandemic, when Americans should have formed a militia back when they began realizing the people in government are greedy and only interested in themselves. It's called the Second Amendment, which is about forming a militia in response to an abusive government, not general citizen gun rights. Read the fucking thing. Voting is your solution, America? You mean keep trying to play the rigged slot machine that's designed to take your fucking money?